A hot body is placed in a surrounding of temperature theta naught. It obeys Newton laws of cooling given by the expression. Fine. Now its temperature at t equal to zero, that is the initial temperature, is theta one. The specific heat capacity of the body is S. Mass is m. Find the maximum heat that the body can lose. All right. Now let's say this is my body, and initially it is kept at temperature theta one. Surrounding temperature is theta naught. So maximum heat that it will lose will be equal to the temperature when it will reach the room temperature, because that is the time when it will reach the maximum heat. Fine. So this will be given by m s theta one minus theta naught. That is the answer for the first part. It is pretty simple. Just a conceptual one that maximum heat it will lose. When it will reach the finalist temperature possible, that is theta naught. So, this is the thing. The second is that the time starts from t equal to zero. The at which now we have to calculate the time at which it will lose ninety percent of the maximum heat. That is B Q M. Now, of course, let's say it loses ninety percent of the maximum heat, and let's say the temperature at that instant is so let's say theta two. Okay, so it is. It will be theta one minus theta two. Okay, because when it will lose ninety percent of the maximum heat, it will reach some temperature theta two. So this theta two will lie between theta one and theta naught. Okay, this is my theta naught. So on solving this, I have point nine Q M by M S. Is equal to theta one minus theta two. Now, from this equation, Q M by M S is equal to theta one minus theta naught. So, substituting this value over here, I have point nine of theta one minus point nine of theta naught is equal to theta one minus theta two. So, theta two, that is the temperature at this very instant, is given by theta one. Minus 0.9 theta one plus 0.9 theta naught. That comes out to be 0.1 theta one plus 0.9 theta naught. All right. This is my first equation. Now, by Newton laws of cooling, I have d theta by dt is equal to minus of k theta minus theta naught. All right. Now it's time to integrate. I have got theta minus theta naught over here. Minus of k dt. Integrate from zero to t, and temperature varies from theta one to theta two. Okay. So I have natural log of theta minus theta naught. Limits varies from theta one to theta two. It's called to minus of k t. So substituting the limits, I get the natural log of theta two minus theta naught divided by Theta one minus theta naught is equal to minus of k t. Okay. Now theta two is uh, this value. Theta two is given to me as point one of theta one plus point one of theta naught. So theta two minus theta naught will be equal to point one theta one plus point nine theta naught minus theta naught. That comes out to be theta one minus theta naught into point one. So theta two minus theta naught divided by theta one minus theta naught comes out to be point one. So I substitute this value in this equation. I have natural log of point one is equal to minus of kt. It can be written as natural log of ten is equal to kt. So time comes out to be natural log of 10 by k. That is the answer.